So if you're going to be showing you my top 10 least favorite things, or things they should get a, get rid of, or at least nerf the crap out of in Grand Theft Auto 5. For number one, we have Simeon's Car Fetching Missions. These missions entail us to fetch a car randomly within a lobby. That's not technically the bad part about the mission is we get cops every time that we start start it. And it doesn't matter what car we get into. If it's on the list of cars that he gives us, we get cops automatically. We're going to go drive down to that area on the map. And pretty far away from any part of the mission, any part of the things that we're usually doing. And we don't want to do it in general because this is something that we usually do with lower levels to get some quick cash. And frankly, at higher levels like me and my other friends... It really doesn't matter to us. In fact, and we didn't. Even, some of us didn't even do it whenever we were at lower leveled. And ultimately, it just kind of ruins the experience of going around in a city whenever we're trying not to get cops, even though we've just broken into a car. But still, come on, we don't need to have cops every time we get into a, one of these. Or number two, it is arm wrestling. If you guys never played this. It's pretty bad on your controller. You gotta flick the. Uh, thumbstick over and over again to actually win this, which I suspected I wouldn't have actually won this, but this guy had no idea how to play it, so luckily I was able to actually figure it out. But yeah, you have to go either flick your right or left thumbstick and, or, and within a quick sec, uh, succession, and it's pretty brutal on your controller. Ultimately, it was pretty easy for me to beat him because I had no idea what was going on. And tell you the truth, I still had no idea how I beat him. I was super confused at this point. It's pretty brutal in your controller. It's not... You don't get much money, as you just saw. Like, or number three is the police in general. This is not a gripe that I have too much, but all my friends, and everyone's while I have difficulty with this, is the police coming after me for almost no reason at all and hunting me down and killing me consistently. Now... It doesn't really matter if I'm doing something wrong, like hold, holding up a store or something, because that makes sense that police will come, but if I'm standing in the middle of the desert with a silencer and shoot a guy, I don't want to have cops on me because it makes no sense. Now, what I did here was I blew up somebody's car, and I shot about five other cops. So that makes sense, I have cops like this. But... For some reason, even if you're doing something random, that you get cops, like Simeon's uh, car fetching mission. Which makes sense, you just stole a car, but you shouldn't get a 3 star 1 level, that same amount that you get if you kill a police officer. Which, I'm I, that's what I believe that you get. And, I, there should be a no cop option for lobbies. Certain lobbies should have a no cop option. Like they did back in G Grand Theft Auto 4. And that would be very, very, very taken in by the community. Because I know I would like that, my friends would like that, if they didn't get ran down by cops every couple of minutes. But number four is, missions that they've taken off of Grand Theft Auto V. These are like last team standings or online missions that, that, that were also very fun to play and... Got you a lot of money, which I know, I know Rockstar hates that combination, obviously. And anything that's fun, really. Um, so yeah, they've taken away total a bunch of last team standings and a bunch of regular missions that I miss. Um, I forgot the name of the mission. Um, the mission was very fun. It had us take go down this large hill, and you gotta take down a bunch of these guys, they're all in, probably, they're all in black vans, you gotta blow them all up, or shoot them, or something, and then a cargo bomb would land down there, you gotta get into the cargo bomb, pick up this mm, crate, who are, who's guarded by um, a few guys with rockets, which was really cool, because no other mission had, only one other mission, actually, had guys with rockets in it. Uh, and they saw that mission in the game, so obviously that wasn't the reason why they took it away. 
they probably get, took it away because it was fun and it got you money. Anything that gets you money in this game, they basically get rid of. I mean, good money, not just like eh, some amount of bad money. Except for ice, you know, we had to wait a few months for ice, but you know, we got it. I mean, a few years for ice. But I mean, come on, we gotta get rid of that mission there, huh? So yeah, they uh, and a few last time standings that took place in certain places that I they probably didn't want. Number five is whenever you cannot join our friends while playing Grand Theft Auto Five. It's a problem that's been going around for me and probably every PlayStation user um, for back on PS3 all the way to here. Um, it wasn't a problem that originally came from PS3. It eventually came to it um, later on, like maybe after the hipster update. And it is a pr it pretty much... Um, Ruined the not 100% ruined the experience, but ruined having friends on Grand Theft Auto 5 because we can't join them half the time. Whenever we want to surprise a friendo or back on PS3, it really sucks because we can't get into the chat party with them and talk to them and tell them about what's going on. And it really, really sucked. And it pretty much uh, made joining our friends impossible. But on PS4 now, we can now join through the chat, through our uh, chat, and it's a lot easier. And we can talk to each other without having to get onto a game, which I know Xbox uh, people didn't actually have that problem. They can always do that, because Sony is a little cheap. But, hey, I'm using a Sony system, and I've been using Sony since I was born, so... Hey. <laughs> so yeah, it it's been a big problem for us, and hopefully they get rid of this eventually or try to fix it. They did fix it once, but it made this one glitch where our faces would change to the player that we joined. It happened for about a week, less than a week, but yeah, it was a very bad glitch. My character turned black once. It was weird. I don't have any photos. I deleted them because they scared me. Or number six is the homing launcher. It's probably the second most bullcrap weapon in the game. It's so powerful. It's so difficult to... I mean, so easy to use. It, you can get it as soon as you get on GTA start out as a new character, you get some money, you buy this weapon, and you can basically fire it as far... The range is ridiculous. How fast this goes is ridiculous. It can lock onto any vehicle. And yes, any vehicle. I think they might have nerfed it back on PS3, but on PS4, it's way, 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 way too intense. You can basically hit anybody from like a mile away with this. And if even if they turned or went different direction, it still follows them. It's pretty pretty OP. There probably isn't any other weapon in this game. There is only one other weapon actually that I can think of, and that's my number ten. Just to something that you got to nerf in this game, but. We still have a ways to go to get that one, so let's just keep on checking on it. Or number seven, it is the fact that we do not have a two-person submarine. Alright, back when GTA V for the PS4 came out, we were so excited for the Kraken submarine. And if you look at it, it looks like it has actually two seats in the front there. But... It doesn't. It's a one-person sub, just like the other sub that we can find randomly, and it's for free. Not a million and almost a half dollars. And every once in a while, this does go a little bit lower, but it's still not worth it. You can get one for free randomly. It might be a little bit harder to get, technically, if you're just looking around for it. This is slightly more convenient, but now I mean useless, because now we can get rebreathers and go by ourselves. And 
ultimately, it's just a waste of money for the Kraken sub. We need a two-person submarine in this game. We've been waiting for it since PS4 came out. Actually, no, since PS3, late, later in PS3, whenever we found, like, we can actually get into the submarine. And, well, crap, we need a two-person sub in this game. Make it cheaper than this submarine. Or just make the submarine two-person. And just give us this awesome. Give us the ability to have a two-person and maybe four-person submarine. Or maybe a submarine house that we can live in. That could be cool. Alright. Go around the cities and just a submarine that you can just look out and see everything underwater. That would be ultimate. That would be just so awesome. Where number eight is, the random missions that they've taken away. Now, I basically covered this, but not the missions that you randomly get while playing free mode. Right now they have the free mode events kind of thing, uh, which are okay, but they oh, they waste a lot of your ammo, and they have you do all these really outlandish things where the old ones, like the ones like, where you randomly found a money truck and you had to blow off the doors and you get like a couple thousand dollars. Maybe all, maybe all, um, around 20,000. I think that's the most I've ever gotten. Uh, which was very useful. <laughs> um, and the other missions were like, where you had to go blow up a cargo plane or some random guy on the street and they gave you a bit of money too. Um, so yeah, I'm very surprised why why they got rid of these. I, I have no idea. Probably to make room for the new ones that they gave us, but these are really not as fun as the old ones. Except for maybe Hunt the Beast. Because yes, Hunt the Beast was very fun. And Yeah, they should really keep that in there. They should really bring out the old ones and Leave them something different from the other ones, maybe. Um, also, I remember another one that they got rid of that I really didn't like. Um, that, where you had to go steal the random vehicle on the map that usually was around the helipad. And it gave you a bit of money, only a little bit of money, and it really wasn't worth it. But they still got rid of it, and it just kind of was a Grand Theft Auto V classic mission. Where number nine is old gen's passive mode, which ultimately kind of sucked compared to the new vit gen's passive mode, where you, people can go right through you because in old gen people can just hit you with a car or spray down with a fire hose, which sucks because it just takes a long time and you die very slowly, so you're on the ground for at least five minutes before you die. They should really upgrade it to the new version. For number 10 is probably something that I hate quite a bit. I mean, that I love and hate. It's a love-hate relationship with this weapon, the assault shotgun. Apparently, I haven't gotten killed this many times with this gun because I don't know how. Uh, but the amount of kills I have with it, my most amount of kills, I have not used this gun since old gen. I mean, not as much, at least. I still use it every once in a while, but... I had 4,000 back then, I saw 4,000 now, and I have no idea how I have 4,000 kills with this. You know, if you watch my videos, you probably know I use handguns a lot in this game. And back in old gen, I used to use a shotgun a lot, or shotguns in general. And now, I, I'm looking back at this weapon, and I don't know how I have this many kills with this. 4,000. It takes a lot to get even a thousand kills with a weapon. Some weapons I do have a thousand kills, like my handguns. In fact, my most used handgun probably right now is my vintage pistol. Uh, if you look at my pump shotgun, somehow I have a bunch of kills with that gun, probably because I play this one mission called, uh, let's say, Deathmatch. Um, shotgun Wedding. It's That was back in old gen. I used to play that one a lot. And also my heavy sniper, which I use a lot more than the assault shotgun, and I still don't have as many kills as I have with that. Even some weapons I use almost exclusively a lot, 
like the Combat MG, it still has only like 2,000, 3,000 kills on it compared to the 4,000 kills I have with the assault shotgun. And it is a very OP weapon. And you can kill across the street with this gun. It's fully automatic. It take it's probably uh, the damage ex is extremely high. Like two, three shots will kill you. And it has like a thirty round clip, I believe. Uh, let's actually take a look at this. But yeah, it's super powerful. Even my rocket launcher does not compare to how many kills I have with that gun. And people say the rocket launcher is so OP, or the grenade launcher, or the minigun. No, I say the most powerful weapon in the game is the assault shotgun. And that is my list for my all the top 10 things that they should get rid of, or nerf, or fix in Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, hope you guys liked my video. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and have a good one. Bye.